Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Through Example. Lead the people towards the Lord through example. Do not separate in denominations. Do not separate between churches but come together in love, unity and support and be an example of how Jesus was walking the earth. Be an example of a true child of the Most High. Win the souls through example by living a life that shows that you are walking the narrow and righteous path. Through example has the Lord guided the people into unity. Love of the Father must be shown as an example for all to see. Come together and build communities of love and righteousness in your neighborhood. At Triple Grace we are dedicated to help you to build such communities. We call them Societies of the Rose. In these societies, people, true believers, from all sides, if they are in a denomination, if they are in a certain church, it really doesn't matter. They will come together to serve the Lord on the narrow and righteous path. That path that will lead to Mount Zion, where we will all be ruptured into paradise as a multitude closed in white. Through example, we will win the people, not by shouting in the highways and byways, not by making holy, sacri holy things idols, as many others do, not by baptizing people in a public fountain, what is a disgrace to the Lord, not by showing your faces on, on TV, and listening to your voice on radio stations to make you, yourself important, but by being humble in your communities, in your houses, in your neighborhoods, by showing forth an example of the true living that Christ has asked you to do, by taking your cross and walking that righteous path. People will recognize you as being separated from the world, as being different. And you will lead them by example. And not by shouting and fighting and saying this denomination is bad and that church is bad. No. By coming together in love, unity and support. And setting an example for all to see. So that they all want to come and join you. And then you establish more and more communities in your neighborhood. In the example of the Book of Acts, you will share resources as much as you can. You will support one another. You will guide them with your true heart, a heart in which the living God, Lord Jehovah, is living, so that you can set forth this as example for all to see with a repentant heart and a changed life, you will show them what it, it is to be a true Christian. Not this one who are bickering about Bible verses, calling others names, fighting between denominations, baptizing people in public fountains, making a show of the life of Jesus Christ. Some of them in the churches, they are crying and tears are rolling. But when they come out of the church, they go to drink, they go to smoke, and their life will never change. These are hypocrites. Don't be one of them. But let your life be an example for our living God and for his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, so that the people say, yes, this are true Christians, and these are the true sons and daughters of the Most High. 
So lead the people through example. Come together and love unity and support. Establish communities in your neighborhood. If you need help with this, go in contact with me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. We at Triple Grace are dedicated to set up these examples all over the world. To set up the societies of the rose, the communities of love and righteousness all over the world, in every nation, on every continent, so that we can gather the people through example of righteous living and walking on the narrow path towards Mount Zion. Join us. Sign up for triple-grace.com. It's free. Become a subscriber of our YouTube channel. Ask questions. Even if you have a million questions, send them to me at our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. And take the next step. Step forward. Become an elder, a state, a national leader in your country. No matter where it is, in Africa, in America, in Asia, in Australia, it doesn't matter. In Europe, step forward. Become an elder. Take your position. Establish communities and guide the people through example. That is what the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has said by taking your cross and walking my ways, leading by example, winning souls through example, not through any other means that are so popular, popular today. Movements who are saying they, they come back from the Book of Acts but they are baptizing people in public fountains. And now don't say every baptism is good. This is not the right thing because they do not humble themselves. But they make a public display. Shouting. Dancing. Tears are rolling, but they are all fake. Nothing is done there in the name of the Lord. Everything is done only in their own name and in self-elevation. So come together in love, unity and support and win souls through example. The times are coming now that are getting darker and darker and we have to come together closer and closer. Don't mind from where you are coming. Don't mind that you belong to different denominations or different churches. Just come together and build a community of trust and faith in our living God, in the Lord Jehovah, and in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. And I hope that you will assist our ministry by sowing in it so help us that we can spread these words to the whole world. We need your help because alone we can only do so little. But together we can reach the farthest corner of this planet. And we can spread the message so that everybody can come together and love unity and support. So help us with your kind donations. The links are in the description box below. Thank you for your help. But more important than this, Step forward and become an elder, a state and national leader. Look at the first pin comment and follow the links and see. Decide what you can do, but step forward now and become a living example. Become a living example of the Most High. Thank you. I hope I will see you again tomorrow and I wish you a blessed day. Maranatha.